Contrary to what some of you may believe, I still love professional wrestling. I always have loved professional wrestling. I will go to my grave loving professional wrestling. I love the art form. I love the genre. There's just so many things I love about it. The spectacle, the theater, the entertainment value, you name it, what have you. Well, with that said, I must confess that when it comes to professional wrestling, it's one of the stupidest businesses I've ever seen. And people surrounding professional wrestling, involved with professional wrestling, are some of the biggest morons and idiots I have ever seen. And no, I'm not talking about the wrestling fans. For all of the belief that wrestling fans are idiots and are this and are that, well, if anything, we would be a reflection of the wrestlers and the people inside the business then, because these have to be some of the biggest morons on the planet Earth. Now, these are some of the same people that will sit there and tell you that you can't critique something, you can't have an opinion about something, you can't say something's good or bad if you've never actually done it yourself. You don't know, you don't get it, so you what you say doesn't matter. You know, all all that type of bullshit that I've addressed numerous times. Yet it's funny, you'll see these same idiots that complain about fans complaining about them on the one hand will sit there and bitch about how American Airlines or United or Delta lost their fucking luggage. Well, I thought you couldn't critique something if you don't know the inner workings, if you don't understand the process. It's funny how that bullshit doesn't apply when it comes to that. But one of the biggest things that bothers me about the people involved with professional wrestling are just the idiots in general and just how stupid they could be. And one thing that really frustrates me is when I see these old washed up, has been, never was this type of wrestlers trying to sue the WWE because they're pissed off about this or they're mad about that or they think WWE is to blame for this. And basically it's nothing more than them being the epitome of fucking butthurt because they couldn't really make it in the fucking major leagues, period. And now I see another example. You've got Luther Reigns and two other wrestlers trying to sue the WWE in part because of the physical damage that being a professional wrestler, uh, the toll that it took on their bodies, and the fact that the WWE sold violence. Where do you even fucking begin with all this dumb bullshit? You ever notice how so often when it comes to the WWE getting sued for shit like this, it's not the guys that actually made it and actually became stars and made a lot of money that actually go through this process. It's the washed ups, the has-beens, the never fucking was is that are mad about the shot that they got because it wasn't good or mad because they never really got the shot and they decide they're going to be mad at the world instead of fucking blaming themselves and not accepting what they made for themselves ultimately and they decide that they want to make a cheap, pathetic money grab to try and get something from the WWE. It's sad. It's pathetic. What else would I expect in this lawsuit crazy country? Oh, you made me mad. I'm going to sue you. All this other dumb bullshit. I mean, how ridiculous is it? The WWE sell violence. Well, no fucking shit, dumbass. Same as football for years has sold violence. The same as UFC sells violence. We are a violent culture. We are a violent people. And as a result, we like our violent forms of entertainment. But does that mean that because they sell that violence, that they should be culpable and responsible for the damage that you incur? No, because at the end of the day, you have this thing called freedom of choice. And you idiots chose to become professional wrestlers, knowing damn good and well what type of art form it was, what type of sport it was, what type of form of entertainment it was, knowing damn good and well that you're going to get busted open, you're going to get cuts, you're going to get bruises, you're going to have broken bones, you're going to have these type of problems, concussions, and all this other type of crap. Did the WWE need to sit there and give you a disclaimer before you decided to break into the independent scene 15, 20 years ago telling you, hey, this might not be the best thing for your body long term. No. This should have been something common fucking sense. It's like when I see the NFL and people are talking about that they don't care about player safety. Well, they don't care about player safety for a number of reasons beyond what people actually think are the reasons that they don't care about player safety. But at the end of the day, for all these players that sit there and say, well, I didn't realize it was going to cause this type of damage to my body. They lied about this. They lied about that. Did they really need to fucking tell you? 
All those years your grandma told you, I don't want you playing football because it is dangerous. How in the fuck did your grandma know when she never played football that it was dangerous, but you, the one that participated for fucking years, couldn't realize that this shit might indeed be hazardous to certain parts of your long-term health, that there were risks and potential consequences for the choice of playing football? How the fuck did your grandma know? You didn't need some big multi-million dollar scientific study to tell you that this shit could be dangerous. It's a violent sport. Head-on collisions happen almost every single play and all this other crap. And this is a surprise? And now people are, players are suing the NFL because they were surprised? No. You should have known. It's something that's been well known and documented for fucking years. It's just like me as somebody who still occasionally smokes. Yes, they shouldn't make that type of product. But at the end of the day, that product is out there. And I make the choice of whether or not to consume. And because I am an idiot, I still make the choice to consume. All the while knowing the potential consequences and health risks that are associated with that choice. Now, with that said... If I someday developed a stroke or lung cancer, or some other type of illness that could be directly attributed to my years of smoking cigarettes and now cigars, should I blame the cigarette companies? Should I blame the government? Should I blame anybody else other than my fucking self? I made the conscientious decision. I made the choice. Even knowing what the consequences are, did I need some big scientific study to sit there and tell me that, hey, this shit may be bad for me, when on every fucking package there's a big surge of general warning that tells me that this shit could cause cancer and other things. All the while knowing the history, knowing I've seen people in my family die from lung cancer and emphysema. At the end of the day, if something like that happened to me, whose fault is that? Is that the fault of Philip Morris or any other fucking tobacco company? Maybe I could fault them for the type of product that they make and the addictive nature of the nicotine and what have you. But at the end of the day, whose fault is it? It's mine and mine alone. I knew the risks going in. I knew the potential consequences. And I'm the one that made the conscientious decision because I'm human, because I'm a fucking idiot, like so many of us are fucking idiots, to do it any goddamn ways because what the hell do they know? And someday, if something bad happens to me as a direct result of it, then I've made my own bed and I have to lie in it. And when it comes to these professional wrestlers, at the end of the day, all these bumps that you take, all this training that you take, all this shit like WWE runs these ads, please don't try it at home, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, kids, please try it at home anyways, because maybe someday we want you to do this. Maybe they're doing it for a fucking reason. How the fuck did you not know that this could potentially be bad for your health? Jesus Christ, I'm doing flips and kicks. People are hitting me. People are kicking me. I'm going into this fucking hard-ass mat. I'm going over the top rope. I'm doing all this shit. At no point in time did you think, hey, there could be some bad negative shit that happens as a result of this. But that's the WWE's fault? No, that's your own fucking fault, you dumbass. Because you made the decision. You made the choice. And don't be mad just because your career didn't pan out the way you hoped. Don't be mad because you didn't have enough talent to get it done. Just because you couldn't get the job done when you were given the opportunity doesn't make it somebody else's fault. At the end of the day, it fucking makes it your fault. You know, if you had a stroke, that sucks. I feel bad for you. But don't expect a ton of sympathy from me sitting there and saying, yeah, blame the WWE or blame TNA or blame ROH or blame the wrestling business. No! We all know the fucking risk associated with the business. Think about all the shoot interviews that you've watched over the years as being people in the wrestling business, even though you claim that you don't. Think about all the forum posts that you read, even though they claim that you don't. With the fans, the supposedly biggest idiots of all, talking about this form of entertainment, talking about this sport, talking about the real risk and defending it, talking about, you know, people think it's scripted and that's all fine and good, but it's still real. The consequences, the potential physical damage is very real. Don't be sitting there blaming the WWE. They sell violence. Oh, of course they sell fucking violence. And if you were a top guy and you were main eventing WrestleMania and you were cashing that seven-figure paycheck every year, I highly doubt you would be sitting there and bitching about it. I bet you would be praising it and you'd be trying to defend it. You'd try to put some type of positive, rosy, sunshine corporate spin on it. These type of lawsuits are nothing more than pathetic money grabs from guys who couldn't get the fucking job done, guys that are bitter because they never fucking made it, guys that don't have any other real options because they never planned out their life. 
It's that simple. And it's pathetic. And this all comes down to that lack of accountability we have as a society. You know, oftentimes we could sit there and make excuses and point to this and point to that. But when we fail more often than not, it's because we've chosen to fail. When bad things have happened to us, it's because we've made bad choices. If you don't want to deal with the potential risks and consequences associated with doing something like a violent form of entertainment like professional wrestling, then here's a news flash. Ding dong, dumb dicks, don't fucking do it. But once you do, don't be sitting there and getting all butt hurt when you have potential health problems and consequences down the road because of the choices that you made. At the end of the day, that's not the WWE's fault. That's your fault. Deal with it.